It is time. This is Infinite Investment Game. I'll talk about alternative investments and collectibles. And this is uh, this is a very, very exciting, very exciting video today. Um, I'm going to be talking about Static Shock um, and some exciting news I heard last year, but I just want to talk about the entirety of it and maybe some ideas that at least come into my mind. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe because I'm trying to grow the channel. Um, a few other things is if I get to 400 followers, I'll do some kind of giveaway. I'm not really trying to, how do you say, I'm not going to make money from the 400 followers or subscribers. I need to get a little bit over 400, but I'll give out some sports card. It'll probably be a soccer or UFC card. Um, and I'll message you and, and send it to you. But you have to comment on a particular video, but it won't happen until I get those subscribers. So we'll just be waiting. But anyway, so yeah, um, the other thing is I'm a Yale graduate student I'm getting a PhD in neuroscience and I do decision making. I look at human decision making and more specifically, I want to... I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of projects, but one specific project has to do with um, physical images and, uh, and physical characteristics of items and what it makes us attractive to them. Um, so I'm just doing like a pilot survey just to gather a little bit of data before I know exactly what direction for me to actually start doing experiments because it's more fMRI dependent um, as far as brain scans, but I'm going to have it in the description below and please follow me on TikTok and IG at Infinite Investment Game. All right, so we can get into this, right? Okay, so here we have Static Shock. And you know what? I'm going to give you a video of a newer Static Shock. And we're back. So, all right. So this is here is Static Shock. Um, this is his Static Shock number one. This is collector's edition. I believe I have the exact same one. I have number one for 1993. This is the first ever thing of 1993 uh, from Milestones Comics. Uh, something else that's really important about this is that uh, this is kind of rare. There's not that many graded, but I'll go into that in a second. So the animated series is an animatic animated project centered on Static, who was first appeared in 1993, Static number one, from Milestones Comic, a recently reboot imprint from Black writers, artists, and stories a decade after the original comic book series in it the hero was revived in static shock animated series centering on virgil hawkins a teenager who like his comic counterpart transformed into a superhero and gains electric electromagnetic powers um, also he's a he actually becomes a scientist um, I, he's, he's a very relatable character, especially when the animated series. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, McDuffie was the main author. Uh, however, I believe he passed away in 2011. 
and I do think this book, I mean, it could be a collected thing, which I think would be great to collect because I have it. Um, but I, it also could be a great investment if uh, the movie works out really well. As far as the comic book, there's 609.8. Uh, um, there's 194 sales. Um, and I, I think these go for around $300. If you're going to buy one, I think 9.8, yeah, I can get the 9.6, but the best for your buck, if you're investing, even collecting, I think the 9.8, there's so many of them, is not as expensive as certain other things. And the big news, uh, last year, in the last year, and obviously there probably won't be a movie coming out until like a couple years from now, but, but um, Michael B. Jordan is going to be the producer uh, for the Static Shock movie, um, I guess they're probably in the works of finding actors. I actually wish I could be in this movie. Um, Static Shock is a character I have an emotional attachment to, and I feel like I want it to be Static Shock. That, that would be like the coolest powers I have. Um, but I'll go into this. So Milestones Comics put a shock into basically a fan system. With an official announcement at this uh, DC fandom event, Static and the rest of Dakota City superheroes are getting their very own live action Static Shock movie. With this announcement, Milestone characters are getting an animated series for the first time since 2000 Static Shock cartoon series. And the reason why this cartoon series was, um, how do you say canceled after four seasons was because the merchandise wasn't sold so the cartoon was like an advertisement for the merchandise but i talked to most people who really like this show because the, the animated series was the 18th most popular cartoon in the world and probably with you know if it was the internet around it would probably be more I just think it would have been more popular as static shock even though it was like a black character um, it was more relatable, um, I think, the things that they talked about. Um, but it is streaming on HBO Max, and honestly, someone has it on TikTok too. Um, just type, go to TikTok, type in Static Shock, um, and then I don't remember the name of the channel, but you'll find them as like the parts, and you just like start watching them. It's, it's very, very nice, it's so nice. But um, so a brief thing about a little bit of the origin story. Um, I know people are like, ah, I don't really care as much. It's cool. But here's some things um, about this character. I just see a lot of potential um, just because Black Panther did so well. No one really thought Black Panther was going to be anybody. And turns out it was a great story, great movie. But now you can argue about Thor, Iron Man a little bit. Um, these characters who were more secondary characters really got into the bright lights. Who knows about Static Shock? Maybe it's a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now, who knows? But the original series was noteworthy for being an animated series to show that that's headlines by a black character and it frequently dealt with difficult issues impacting black teenagers like one of the most tragic episodes dealing with bullying chronic depression and school shootings in contrast to usual superhero fair the show gave young fans a look at a complicated world in which violence actually harms people teaching children important lessons like bullets don't discriminate because friends and enemies well bullets don't discriminate between friends and enemies I was like what am I saying and they hurt everyone um talks about bullying in the original comic book um Virgil is actually bullied and he was going to get a gun and this is very political people are worried oh it's going to be all political and stuff listen Static Shock was always political. It was always meant to be political in a sense. It's like people talk about Hollywood and like, oh, it's so political. But Hollywood was always political. You just didn't pay attention. 
anyway, um, he got bullied. He was going to get a gun. He got a gun and he was going to shoot this bully in a sense. And police, um, basically how the guys get got their powers, the police fired tear gas and um, yeah, everyone ended up getting uh, superpowers. Um, there's other things. You know, talked about gang violence. Um, the original show was more about gang violence with the animated series and, and from the comic books. Um, the new they do they did make a newer series, which is more about how do you say police brutality? That's a big one, police brutality, I would say. And you know, there's some other things from the original show where you had just other things, not only just bullying, gun violence, gangs, police brutality, um, people trying to reform themselves in society in a sense, you know, just corrupt adults, things such as that. So I think it's great. Uh, Virgil Hawkins, I believe, ended up becoming a scientist, um, someone who had to deal with racism, being racist towards, and in the comic books, he had his own anti-Semitic views, but they were challenged, and he started really coming to terms with his beliefs and, and changing his beliefs for the better. And all these things um, are, I think, important. I think these things are relatable. And as far as his powers, I mean, he's had a few Justice League debuts, in a sense, um, where his powers seem to be limitless, healing factors... And I see a parallel if they could do something where maybe have it, because it seems like most people who like Static Shock know it from the animated series, but have elements from animated series that are very familiar and keep that consistent with more modern day issues. We'll say like the Black Lives Matter thing and stuff like that. Um and how actually how they started goddess powers were they did some kind of tear gas that was experiment it was an experiment and uh, everybody in the area ended up getting superpowers it would make more sense with gangs but maybe they could do something else on uh, black lives something like that the other thing i think that's really important is maybe mixing the story with the justice league um Probably having something similar to maybe like how Bleach was, um, where Static maybe come really, really comes the age um, when there's like a major villain that the Justice League struggle with or the Teen Titans struggle with. And that could be really good. But also as far as his powers, well, the villain I would be thinking it'd be close to Bleach, but as far as his powers... It would be similar to the best way I can think of is probably like Naruto in a sense, um, where he has like Sasuke has. To, if you don't know Naruto, um, there are certain things to say Sasuke who has like Shidori or the Susanoo's things such as that. As far as his powers, um, that would be very interesting. But yeah, that's the video. This is like a little fun thing. I really like Static Shock, and I hope the movie ends up well and I do they think there's a, a great opportunity as far as an investment who knows when five years from now two years from now a year from now 20 years from now I don't know but I think there's an opportunity there I could be wrong but we'll see but please like comment and subscribe and let me know what other videos you want to hear from me